Hey everyone, so, not that you care, because I know I don't care about other people's animals, like, especially cats, when people show me their cats on YouTube, but anyways, this is my little girl, and I've had her for, I think almost a week, and she still doesn't have a name, um, anyways, this is the look that I'm going to be doing, and... I use NYX and MAC and a little bit of My Beauty Mark. So if you like this look and want to know how I did it, keep on watching. So I already did my face and I primed my eye with Urban Decay Primer Potion and I also used MAC's Paint Pot in Soft Ochre, which is my favorite. And now I think I'm going to go in with Blue Had Me at Hello from Wet n Wild. And it's this lovely little palette right here. I am going to use just a small little brush to get in the inner corner. And I'm going to use this one by e.l.f. It's just a little angled brush. And I'm going to get this color right here labeled Brow Bone and put that in the inner corner. And next I'm going to use this pigment from MAC and this is in Mutiny. These are the big old sizes that they used to have. Now they have the skinny ones. I haven't purchased any since. I believe they went from this big full jar to like little thinner ones and they kept the price the same. I don't know what's up with that but I'm just going to apply that next to the wet and wild color just patting that on to the rest of the lid the colors basically look the same I this look wasn't planned out so I'm just kinda going with it but um, the wet and wild one looks more chalky compared to this um, oh that's nice you see that fallout my lash got in the way. Um, I don't even know what I was saying. Whatever, you could tell. Okay, and next to that, I'm going to try this other Wet n Wild color, which looks like this. And this one is labeled Eyelid. It's the same palette. Blue had me at Hello. And I'm going to use the same e.l.f. brush. Okay, next I am going to use the neutral palette from My Beauty Mark. And what I notice about this palette, I'll show it to you when I find it, that this color right here, where's my finger? This color right here is really, really identical to Max Rice Paper. And if you watch my videos, you will know that Rice Paper is my favorite. Let me put them right next to each other. And there you go. And as you can see, I've put a little dent into the My Beauty Mark because, like I said, it's very similar. This is the My Beauty Mark. And this one is MAC. Let me try and get a thicker swatch. So hopefully you could see that well. But I was really excited when I found out that this color is like rice paper. So I'm just going to take that color that I just showed you from my Beauty Mark. And I'm going to use this e.l.f. This is just a flat brush. And apply the my Beauty Mark as my highlight. So, if you have this neutral palette, do a swatch for yourself and you'll see 
it is extremely identical. Okay, next I am going to take this color from MAC and this one is in texture. I am going to try and look for a fluffy brush. I think I'll use this one from Studio Tools. And again, I'm using um, Texture by MAC. And just applying that in the above the inner corner. Now, let's see if I could find it, but I really like, mm, I couldn't find it, but I haven't used this one. This one is the Coastal Sense 246, and this is a crease brush that I purchased a while back. And I'm going to try this blue right here, and this one is labeled Crease. I'm going to blend that out with, let's see, let's use this one from My Beauty Mark. This one is their Eye Contour Brush, which is in their 20 piece um, set. Not, sorry, not 20 piece set. It's in the um, 12 piece brush set. Can I just show you my little dog, Tila? Say hi, Tila. I just had to show you Tila because that is how she sits all the time. I'm putting um translucent powder here because of my freaking fallout. Um, She sits like that all the time and just watches me film my videos. Anyways... Back to the crease brush from Coastal Scents. As you can see, I try to blend out that blue as much as possible. I'm taking this um, other blue on the other side from the Wet n Wild palette, labeled Crease, and I'm going to put it in the um, crease just to, um, oops, it would help if you could see just to add a little bit <laughs> just to add some depth into the crease I don't want to I'm trying not to use black so that's pretty close anyways right Okay, so I'm going to add some lashes and add liner, and then I will be right back. Okay, so I finished the upper um, lid, and I put my lashes on. I also put Max Soft Ochre, and now I am using the Blue Spark from L'Oreal Hip. And I'm going to put that on my waterline. And in case some of you don't have me on Facebook, um... Is that a cute face? Sorry. I discovered, I think like a month ago, that L'Oreal and Lancome are made from the same manufacturer. I'm going to use this um, palette from My Beauty Mark. This is the new 28 piece set. I'm going to use this blue down here. And I'm using that to set this blue liner. So anyways back to the L'Oreal talk. Um, yeah I found, I'll let you know how I found out in one of my other videos but basically 
Um, I'm using the eyebrow brush from My Beauty Mark, but um, I found that out, and I was reading online, and they were saying that some of the um, the employees from the warehouse, or you know, wherever they're packaging, obviously the warehouse that they couldn't even tell the difference between L'Oreal and Lancome especially with the with the skincare products and everything I'm gonna use this brush from my Beauty Mark it's the lip brush and I'm gonna go in with this color right here underneath all over the um, bottom lid area but yeah, they were the employees couldn't even tell the difference. And reading a little more about it, they were saying that that they basically use the same products and the only difference is some have fragrance and some don't. So, yeah. And then when I posted it on um Facebook one of the girls on there I guess she used to be a counter manager or something and she had confirmed that that was true so that was good to know I'm going back in with the um, this blue from Wet n Wild palette and I'm gonna go underneath my lashes to set that to um not set it just to get a thinner layer of blue going so try and go directly under your lashes and I've always been a fan of L'Oreal so now it just makes me more curious to try out their skin products because I am looking for a good eye cream especially I have like these little lines underneath so I've been looking for something for that besides Botox I'm gonna be turning 28 on May 25th I'm becoming an old lady so I need to take care of these wrinkles I've always tried different eye creams but I don't know I just want to try something different I guess and now I'm just going to add mascara which is this Maybelline Lash Stiletto and yeah that is it thank you for watching bye